Hey, nerds! So, a lot of you were you were asking how exactly, how bad are the, uh, well, summoning pools for some colors and things like that? Well, figured we'd make an actual representation using all of the cast that is currently in the game and making it into a chart so you can better understand what is going on. And joining me today is Jay as well to talk about it. Hi, Jay. Meow. And I've divided them all up into certain things. First up, we have five star exclusives. Four, I mean five to four star exclusives, which basically means that they can appear as five stars as well. And then of course, four and three stars, and then event related, that's of course your GHBs, your Tempest Trials. And then of course we have seasonal story and legendary heroes, which we only have one legendary hero right now, so it really doesn't matter too much. <laughs> ah, man. So, um, Jay? What now, you, what I have to say that uh, the red red really vastly outnumbers quite a lot of the other cast when it comes to. There's as many. Uh, no, actually, no. There's more uh, five star sword unit mm -hmm. that are exclusive than uh, green tome axes bow, and then dragons on top of it together. Yep, and of those, there include such amazing characters as Carol. Gray, Saber, Saber, Luke. I, I I honestly forget if Luke actually has anything as a weapon. I know he has. Pan a... uh, he, he has panic ploy and brave sword. Yeah, I mean, but... I guess that's something. But oh, and fire boost. But mm -hmm. we all know how great boost skills are. I mean, <laughs> uh, just yeah. That that five star exclusive pool is probably one of the worst to pull from, just because. Any of those, I mean, granted, a lot of them are actually pretty good, so if you do manage to get lucky, you might end up with, say, Ira, or Sigurd, or Siegbert, or, you know, Brave Roy, Ryoma, Mia, Mia uh, Alencia, things like that, that's really cool. But on the other hand, you might end up with uh, Carol, or Luke, or Saber, or Grey, it's, it's not... There's so many new units that needs to be moved around. I, I, I mean, used to think Eldigan should be three to four, but now I like four <laughs> to five because his weapon refinery yeah. kind of saved his ass. I know a lot of people like saying, "Well, that's just because they want you to spend more money." Well, yes, but a, the thing is, a lot of other gotchas when it comes to that one percentile thing. There's a one percentile, but you'll still eventually get a unit that and is actu like, actually and useful. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like the the five star exclusive tend to be among the best units of the game, and uh, I'm sorry, but Luke is not cutting it. Yeah, Luke and Carol, no, thank you. Obviously, um, we're gonna complain about this until they adjust it. I I'm sorry, but it needs to be driven home again and again. And I figured an actual visu visual representation of all the units that are available gives you a better idea. Um, and then, of course, you know, you can see other characters that are in the four to five star range in red that are just absolutely abysmal for at least five stars. Now, d don't get me wrong. I mean, it they can be great units. It's just that them appearing as five stars is not something that should happen. Um, I'm talking granted like red has a lot of really good unit mm -hmm. and five star exclusive range, but there's it's mainly the four to five range that kind of just solely's it all because it's like oh look five star Kane five star Chrome five star Erica can be useful but yeah. I mean you can get it at four five star five Marth <laughs> Ro Roy Agma, Agma Kata like Asita I, I keep fucking up her name I know it's 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 a weird one <laughs> yeah but, but there's there are way too many options that are just possible in that one. And the thing is, that list is going to continue to grow. It's just simple as that, as they continue to add more. And that's not even including the 20 or so uh, specialty units, you know, the seasonal units that were added between all of that, that are not on the table when it comes down to summoning. And obviously, Red has the most advantage. In fact, pretty sure Red has been all of our Tempest Trial rewards, just to give you an example. Outside uh, of Clive. Clive. Yeah. yeah, Clive. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. We've it's had ridiculous. we've had Joshua, Tobin, Arden, jo you know, just Black Knight, and then Clive is just there occasionally. And don't forget, Navarre is coming back. 
Uh, Navarre, yeah, Navarre, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, yeah, he, he's definitely coming back um, as an actual you know, GHB unit, in case you want to know about it. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we made our own tier list. I'm so happy for us. But <laughs> our tier list is different. One, uh, a few other things to note here. Red Tome units have not had an actual real Red Tome unit added into the game that isn't seasonal in... How or, many? or well, if you remove Orvis, because yeah, I, I mean for a summoning, you know. Yeah, for banner units, that has that is that has been since Silica that we've not gotten a single new red mage that yeah. is not seasonal. We've had Katarina, and then you know Celica, and that's about it. And then of course, you know, that doesn't mean that it's it's bad. Well, it's just an interesting little point. Uh, I mean, there's also Seneki. Oh but, yeah, yeah Seneki as well, but. Uh, well, Sonaki, Sonaki was at the start of the game, towards the start, you know, she was in Yeah, the, yeah, and then, she, she was in a shit banner too, which, <laughs> you know, like, it, I, I love how she's just like, essentially Lilina, but with like one more speed and with a uh, preferential tome that is not really that good. Yeah. I mean, and then, you know, just to give you an example, Young Tiki is a exclusive red red Dragonstone unit. That's fine. You know, I really... Yeah. She's actually yeah, she's... a very good unit when you want to build a dragon. I mean, dragons just in general right now are... I mean, my Young Tiki is hitting 40 speed with 40 death and 36 res, so... so yeah. I'm not... I don't even have Ninian yet. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy stuff. <laughs> And then uh, I actually find the blue exclusives for five star to be actually pretty okay. I mean they're they're fine. At I least mean like the spears. worst out of yeah, I, I, the worst out of this yeah. is probably Inoka, but she has at least own flyer. Yeah, so it's kind of excusable. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the second worst would be. I. I... They are pretty much all good. Yeah, I mean, the only problem is when you dip into the five to four star range. Um, yeah, that that tends to be the biggest problem, just because it's like, oh look, here's a five star of a <laughs> unit you don't really care Katria, about. Catria, oh. hello, yeah. and Perry, things like that. I mean, when people ask, or, what? Huh? Go or ahead. Claire? Or Claire? Claire? Oh, Claire. Lucas is good though. Roderick's all right, um, and you know Oscar can actually be really good if you decide to you know build him a certain way. Outside of that, though, I just they don't need any. I, I'm gonna just say this real quick. Any character that has a killer weapon right now needs an automatic downgrade. Just any yeah. of them. Well, I mean Lucas can be kind of decent enough, but that's the only exception I can think of. Yeah, I mean, it still, even then, just because you can level him up and you can refine his weapon, it, he doesn't yeah. need to be the thing that breaks your ability to get certain units. It's just too much. And then, you know... Yeah, I mean, he's definitely not... He's definitely should not be summonable in the five-star range, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that it might be a good enough idea to just leave him in the four star only range. Yeah. Just like not four three, just four. Yeah, or something like that. I, I mean, we haven't had anything like that happen ever, but it would be cool if we could at least well, get some I variation. Mean, s s something else that never happened, getting new three stars. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just so we're clear, the four to three star range here, people, that has not changed since launch. If you've ever wondered why you've been getting repeat characters, that would also be why it... I'm not saying that it's, you know, something that should happen, but it does need some change up, you know? It does need to it, be altered a little bit. It's also kind of hard because um, if we drop too many character from 5-star exclusive and 5-4 to four into 3-star, units that are so important, so vital, such as Inata, are going to become a bit rarer, so it's yeah. like... To counterbalance this, you need to ha to put like other Fury characters that are five star exclusives that would be able to again just drop him down to four to five. That yeah. way, you'd have another Fury fodder available. Or add newer characters that have those abilities as well. Yep, that's the other option. Um, or also just like change Bartray and Jagan to give like Fury three. <laughs> but like that's a bit more. Or add uh, them to the eight. five star pool. Ooh, I'm really oh, smart at this. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, honestly, the blue pool is still really solid when it comes to summoning, just because, well... Yeah, if less... anything, it's 
if anything, it's like Olwen and Inoka, I would drop down to four. Yeah. But, That's about it. Yeah. Um, Ninian's great. Naoi's fantastic. Well, actually, no. I, I would put Azura and Ninian also at four star, purely because Olivia's already there, and Olivia's more relevant than the two of them. Oh. More or less. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, all right, so let's move on to... I mean, we're not going to be talking about seasonals just yet, guys. Those are at the bottom for a reason. Um, yeah. Yeah, th we could do an entire video about seasonal, honestly. I have a lot to say about that. Uh, moving on to green. Green, for its five-star exclusives, are all fantastic units. I Agreed. Mean, so, I mean... Like, there's... the only, the only five-star exclusive that... I kind of find eh at the moment is Hector, but he has this encounter, which should not be, like, available at all times, so... Yeah, um, you know, and then, of course, the four- to five-star pool does have the same sort of problems that the other oh, ones do. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Camilla, of course, Hawkeye, who likes to show up and break things, Merrick, Merrick of all people. I don't know how good Merrick is now with his Dark Excalibur if you decide to upgrade it, but Merrick uh, of all goddamn things... I mean, my Merrick is 4 star plus 10 because he keeps coming home. I'm, I need a 5 star because I want Dark Excalibur and he's going to be sitting down at 43 speed with it. Yeah. So he might actually be really good with it, mm -hmm. more or less. Yeah. I mean, all in all now, Weapon Refinery has changed a lot, but it still does not address the issue that we have here. Yeah. Especially the, the, with all that. <laughs> the summoning really needs to change. It's ridiculous. And then, of course, let's move on to... Just so we're clear, this actually scrolls a bit, guys. Uh, boop. <laughs> and as you can see, Faye is a four, five to four star. Dragons, of that, course. Uh, honestly, oh, okay, Dragon. Yeah, yeah dra she's fine at that range. She's the only Renner Wolf Father as well, so yeah. definitely find out where she stands. And then, of course, we have the bows. Um, I don't really understand why the other Fey is five star exclusive when all the other um, fire oh. sh fire like, sweep weapons are actually yeah like she should be like at at worst four to five mm -hmm. and at best three to four. I'm saying three to four <clears throat> because she really does not have much to offer. Does Mean she? <laughs> Meanwhile, Rebecca is five to four stars, which is yeah like outrageous. She's... I mean, she's still kind of decent, but oh my god, like, the other archer just completely outclasses her. Yeah, the, the, there's nothing worse than pulling in colorless, which I guess colorless is a little bit better now because of how things have revamped, you know, the, ha, people often ask me, do I think colorless hell still exists? Uh, yes. it does, yes. but... Uh, I, w I would say something that they really should have had done because all of those healers are only relevant if they're at five star. Yeah. But so if you get them at three to four star, it's just as much a colorless hell as ever. Yeah. So what they should have done is something stupid they really do on all of them, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a disservice for all of the healers. You only have one passive, aka okay, A, B, or C. Yeah. That's and either. it's never at max. It's always up to the second level of it. Yeah, and then you change, have to get like, them up to five to star. Three. Yeah. Just change that to three. Like, that way you'd have access to lift to serve on Riss. Mm -hmm. uh, threaten attack on Azama. You know, stuff like this. It would actually make them relevant as father as well. Yeah. Because it it's nice that the unit themselves are useful. That's the great. O the only problem, though, is that a lot of them have to get up to five stars to actually be relevant for not only fodder, but also to be able to be using, you know, their improved weapons, their improved heals, things like that, you know? Yeah. And that still hasn't addressed the problem of that when it comes to summoning them. It still makes it better. I mean, if you manage to pull a five-star Elise, you're probably going to be pretty happy because she... Well, yeah. <clears throat> she, or five-star Jenny. She, she comes at five star. She has access to everything she really needs mm -hmm. for the most part. Uh, some, like, she might be able to use better staffs, but yeah. at least she's going to be good enough. And Jenny is the same sort of thing. She can be pretty good too. You know, granted, yeah. not not. <laughs> I that... mean, it's especially now, she's starting to actually be really good. I've seen the uh, Six Path of Pain Plus from Lubu, and uh, he actually made a, a build that was actually pretty fun to use. Yeah. 
He killed an entire armor emblem team by with just Jenny attacking once. <laughs> yeah, did, I, I know. Did it's... like 24 damage to everybody, and then everyone killed themselves on her with Vantage. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean... Ah, god, it's just... There, there's there's still some problems with colorless. Um, daggers, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Deathly Jeff Daggers. Yeah, like, uh, Jafar has a kind of niche. Yeah. But I would still drop him to 4 to 5, if not 3 to 4. Yeah. For two reasons. Because, first off, he's not really amazing. He's usable now. I find if you need to upgrade the character with refining, it really defeats the purpose of putting them in a 5-star pool. Yeah. That's, that's what I think, at least. Um, you know, some <clears throat> some of them, sure, I'll let I'll let slide, but I mean, I guess... The second thing I, I really want to say, though, is also that would give access to Life and Death 3 fodder, possibly. Yeah. And if that's the case, that would be really welcomed. Yep. Or even just Life and Death 2 in general, because that would mean you have two fodder that are really uh, worth something yeah aka life and death and death blow yep i mean it's just uh, the daggers daggers have gotten a little bit better it's just i mean i don't think jacob's gonna really change anything obviously but well, i uh, mean like silver dagger in general went from 10 might to 14 yeah on refine. so 15 if you go with attack blows which yep. is insane all in all i feel daggers got a bit of a better, you know, a deal when it comes down to it. We just need, I think we still need an actual dagger unit that can really push the envelope there, because... I mean, whenever it's coming, we're going to get a Radiant Down banner, and Sov's gonna be in it. <laughs> yeah, eventually, right? Watch him pull an Ira with, like, a 500 SP spec that does, like, 50% uh, of his speed or something. Who knows? Because even though... I mean, colorless health does still kind of exist, but its I still don't think it's as bad as it used to be. Or, you know, they could ruin uh, Soph like they did Seth and Titania by oh. making them absolutely awful, even though they're Oife archetype, a archetype that starts strong and stays strong. Yeah. I mean, of the visual representation, I think the worst pool is still red, just by how it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. But... It's kind of funny, because in the green pool, there's only one non-seasonal 5-star I've never pulled. Like, 5-star exclusive, and that's uh, Julia, yeah. actually. I mean, let's just let's look at seasonals real quick, just to give you an example. Here's the thing that's really odd about... I mean, not really odd about seasonals. I guess it's also kind of commendable in a way. Um, they've never gone sword units with, with uh, seasonal. Not once. Uh, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> uh, which... which which makes sense, because we already have way too many sword, sword character in the entire franchise. We could, like, fill all the board with just them. And seasonal units are usually meant to be something that is... Really weird. Odd, you know, and so therefore we get things like Tharja, who's an armored unit, uses a tome, or um, Robin armored, with a... <laughs> Armored bikini. Yeah, and then things like, you know, an armored archer for once, and... Eventually, we're going to get some more oddities, but just to give you an example, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and uh, let's scroll over. 25, 26, 27, 28. There have been 28 seasonal units. That includes, you know, that means that there are 28 <laughs> characters in the pool that are not you know, accessible. Yeah, and I find it really stupid uh, what they did with the last one, the legendary <laughs> banner with 12 characters, because yeah. it's like, char people will want to get those seasonal units, even if they're not really usable. Yeah. Like, in my case, I wanted Bunny Camilla and Bunny Xander, purely because I really, I, I have a good setup for Bunny Xander, mm -hmm. and Bunny Camilla was just the only flyer I was missing, aside from Tana, at the time. Now I have every flyers, but... Well. Like, we're not even we're not even including it, the fact that they're you know they're they're going to be bringing out legendary heroes who are only available during legendary banners as well. So yeah, it's going like, to get really weird in the future. The good the good thing with legendary heroes is they always give us at least a copy in the in the story. So it's I, I can't let it pass. Yeah, I don't I'm like hoping. About... 
I'm but hoping that it will continue because I don't know if that's yeah. going to keep happening. One thing that's I don't problem. like about uh, about just seasonal banner in general, well, not seasonal banner, but seasonal unit coming back in legendary banner is the fact you can't choose which one you want. That's really annoying. <laughs> if anything, just split it in three banner and lower the rate. Even at 3%, I would actually enjoy this because I would be able to pull for the unit I want. <laughs> not, not like getting fucked by like the other two characters that are freaking useless. My goodness, Jay. Settle down, buddy. You'll be okay. It's all right. I believe I'm, in you. I am not okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean... When it comes to visual representation on what a lot of the problem is when it comes to summoning pool, it's just, well, there you go. I mean, I we made you this example just to show you how, I mean, because every banner that isn't seasonal, whenever they add a unit, they just drop them down to, you know, they drop one or two. And more recently, they haven't been doing four, you know, four unit banners anymore. They've been doing three, and they have occasionally only dropped one. Yeah, there's always one unit in that pool or, who... Or sometimes just none at all. Yeah, and that is that is definitely an interesting problem. <laughs> I, I feel really bad for anyone who pulls for Tharja, at least Christmas Tharja right now, because that pool is ridiculously bad. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually went and checked the, the rate actually before recording. Uh, Tharja has a 2.48% chance of being pulled mm -hmm. at 3. Yep. It's the lowest I've seen since uh, legendary banners and the likes. Yeah, it's 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 pretty difficult. Um, and it doesn't help that she's of course a seasonal banner, so you know. That's yeah, the, uh, a seasonal banner with all the time. You know. <laughs> I'm I'm really wondering how they're going to be handling things in the future. I I do think they need to mix up a few things, guys. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, it's just them trying to make money. Yeah, but. With, I mean, with how many it, units they're going to be adding in the future, they do need I mean, to rebalance it occasionally. If you, if they want to continue make money and to make so that people that actually play this yeah. enjoys the game, yeah. they'll want to actually continue not fucking it up, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Or at least make it so it's a little bit easier to... Uh, because eventually we're going to get to the point where... Let's say in a year's time they continue on with this pace that they have right now with how they've been adding units. We're gonna have a hundred or we're gonna have another hundred or so five star exclusive units. That uh, the red the five star um, red is most likely gonna double. Just to give you an example, that's going to make uh, say you're summoning for another Christmas unit that might be out around this time. That's gonna make that that percentile half of what it is for now with Tharja. It's well, maybe about... not off, but it's definitely going to lower it. I'm, mean, I'm yeah. guessing like, uh, like Avatar's at two point forty eight. I'm guessing it would go down to maybe two percent, maybe even lower, because that's that's just giving them the benefit of the doubt of of how they are currently doing it, which is just th you know four four banner four person banner, that would be that. Instead, it they seem to be doing the three person banner more often now, so. Yeah, it, it, it it's going to balloon even more, and it's well. To be fair, since the Sacred Stone banner, it's always been like a seasonal four unit, and then a banner of three. Yeah, which I mean, it has its perks because since there's only three unit on the banner, it, it actually increases the rate of all the unit that are focused on there until a seasonal yeah. banner comes along where that really starts to hit you. That's that's just yeah, what like I'm saying. The, <laughs> the seasonal banner are fucked. That, but I mean. When it comes to ballooning, it's going to be much worse in a year's time, I think. Unless, of course, definitely, definitely. Un unless of course they come back and they look at it and revise it. I'm not saying a complete revamp. I'm just saying revise a few units. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It does help out some players because, let me tell you, there's nothing worse than rolling on a banner and getting a five-star Sheeta or a like a five-star Claire when you're when you're hoping for something else of all the other options you can get, and it always seems to be a five-star Sheeta, Perry, or Claire. I mean, there's two things I really want them to do. I want them to rehold this, and I also want them to update Refinery to actually be able to upgrade weapons that are not at a plus, in the sense that, like, you have a regular Killer Lance, you can upgrade it to Killer Lance Plus, and then Slaying, slaying Axe Plus, oh. something like that. That would be actually also really nice, Well, because that way you could... 
if they lower like saber to four star, you can kill saber at four star for like slaying edge, and then upgrade that to slaying edge plus. Yeah, I mean, it's I I don't know if they'll ever do that, but I mean, we're we're just here to show you an example of what's been what's goes on with uh you know all these summoning pools. So yeah, I I decided to just make that chart. Uh, someone made a really nice chart on Reddit, and. I just was like, oh wow, that's a great idea. So I made my own chart about five star exclusives and things like that. <laughs> All those fun things. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That's a basic talk down of what's been going on with four star, five stars, and all this other stuff. Just to give you an actual visual representation of everything. Thank you, Jay, for joining me, by the way. Now, Meow. also, something we could probably do a video on is like changing the character from star. Yeah, we, Star rating. I mean, if anyone has anything they would like to talk about, feel free to post in the comments. What would you like to see us talk about next? And we'll we'll look into it. So for now, though, guys, catch you later. Whee!